Hi, everybody. I am your mystery reader today. I'm Mr. Bowman from second grade at Thomas Elementary. And today we are going to read A Walk in the Words by Hudson Talbot. A Walk in the Words. Drawing always came naturally to me. I drew all the time. I just did it, like breathing. Every day after playing with my friends, I'd come home and draw stories that I made up. It was like diving into my own world. I liked words too, one at a time. When I was reading, I had to picture every single word. But long sentences, no way. I would start a long sentence and then my mind began to wander. I was the slowest reader in my class. When everybody was turning to the next page, I was still on the first sentence nobody knew. but the books knew, and they were coming for me. So many words, so many pages. Books weren't always scary. The first ones were friendly with big pictures and only a few words, howdy. Little by little, the pictures got smaller and the text got longer. Me eat pictures, you read. It was a reign of terror. My drawing pad was my safe place. I could pick out the words that I knew, but the rest looked like squiggles. A whole page of text looked like a wall, keeping me out. By now, everyone in my class was reading book after book, except me. What if they found out that I couldn't keep up? I had to face it. I was alone and lost in a world of words. Everywhere I looked, there were big words, strange words, scary words. One big word was stalking me, overwhelm. It described the feeling of too many words coming at me at the same time. It made me want to give up. But I love stories too much to quit. I was good at picturing stuff. Maybe I could try picturing a way out. I grabbed overwhelm and broke it off over so it just said whelm. It meant the same thing but was more my size. Now I could whelm the words before they overwhelmed me. I just read at my own pace. After all, it was my walk in the words. I took time to look for words that I knew. There they were like stepping stones leading me onward. Keep going. Yes, this way. Trust yourself. Go for it. This is your path. These are your words. I jumped over the words I didn't know and let the words I knew lead me into the story. 
After a while, I wasn't thinking about reading. I just wanted to know what happened next. The war between my fear of reading and my curiosity was over. Curiosity won. Books weren't so scary once I got to know them. And now that I was beginning to like words, why rush past them? I realized that just because I was slow at reading didn't mean that I had to fear it. I also learned that many great people were slow readers. I honored them all in my Slow Readers Hall of Fame. It's hanging up Albert Einstein. Maybe there's some names here that you know. George Washington, Thomas Edison, Leonardo da Vinci, Muhammad Ali, Alexander Graham Bell, Babe Ruth. And I tore down that terrible wall of shame. Slow readers, savor the story. I experimented with ways to tell my stories. I could still tell a story with pictures, or I could tell it with words. My favorite way was using both. The Monster from Planet Mongu, Chapter 18. I remembered how my horses got better the more I drew them. My writing would improve too. If I wrote every day, a drawing could show what a horse looked like, but with words, I could bring them to life. Now they could breathe and snort and carry me on adventures. I read every day in search of new words for my stories. It was like finding new colors for my art, but now I was learning to paint with words. There were still times when I felt lost in a sea of words. My drawing pad was still my safe place. Others found music, sports, math, and science. Words had always scared me, but once I felt free to read at my own speed, they became my friends. I could unlock the magic of stories and even become a storyteller myself, turning that sea of words into an ocean of possibilities. Now all I have to do is enjoy the ride. There is an author's note at the back. Hopefully your teachers can find a copy for you to share that. I hope you enjoy this book as much as I did and that you can discuss where the turning point was in this book and how you can connect to this character. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.